The free form deformer basically gives you a grid of points which you can freely use to deform any object that falls within um, the box or the points or the grid that it gives you. So hence its name free form deformer. So you freely use it to deform any object that falls within the grid or the box that it gives you. So I'll go ahead and create a free form deformer from the default menu here. So I'll choose the FFD. I can still come here and create it from the create menu here as well. And I'll create any object. I can create a cube or a sphere or anything. I'll create a sphere and I'll make it a child of the sphere as usual, like you do to all deformers. And now when we come to points, we have access to the points of the grid and now we can start manipulating it. So we can start using it to change the point and things. We can actually come in here and increase the number of points in the on, in the grid. So we come to grid points, the attributes manager, increase it more, increase it more. I can use it to deform any object. So I can select either, either of them and when I move it, it will affect it. But the more the point, it makes it a bit cumbersome. So I'll still reduce the point a bit more and change the object. So maybe I'll use a cube. And I'll give it enough segments so that when I deform it, it will make sense. I'll make the freeform deformer a child and I'll reduce the grid a bit more so that the deformation will be a bit simpler. So let's bring it back to three, three, three. And now let's do the same thing that we're trying to do with the cube. And you can see if I select this one, move it, you can see what's happening. So you can actually use it to deform any object freely. Hence its name, the freeform deformer. So basically, that's what the freeform deformer does. And unlike other deformers, it doesn't have fall off, but you can actually select it and move the cage so you can see what happens when you Charlie begins to move it. I mean, you can play around with it to get some other effects and things. So basically, that's all the freeform deformer does. There are a lot of interesting things that you can actually use it to do.